has got one of the most recognized faces in television. But in his new series, you're never going to see his face at all. Now, that sounds like a puzzlement. But Pat <laughs> Collins can explain it for us. That's Good morning, Pat. David Brenner is going to radio, <laughs> where you, as they say, uh -huh. don't have to look your best. <laughs> Baby boomers who grew up on Top 40 and talk want more from their radios. That's the theory, anyway, behind David Brenner's new 90-minute variety radio show, all live, all unrehearsed, and all for $35,000 a program, which in radio is a lot of money to produce a show. Mr. Brenner, who last year was voted College Entertainer of the Year, is expected to draw a younger audience, too, and to make sure he does, the guest list will be heavy with rock stars and irreverent comedians. David's test run show last month had David Lee Roth and Joe Piscopo for guests, and tonight, Brenner will be surrounded by the Hooters, Mary Gross, and Graham Nash. The names, the jokes, and the music will be different, but Mr. Brenner hopes to recapture the spirit of live radio made famous by Jack Benny, Burns and Allen, Fred Allen, and Edgar Bergen. Who um, when television came along, the money went from radio to television. Um, once the audience wanted more, there had to be some way of providing it. Money has come back in huge amounts to radio. To reach, again, that audience, that uh, 18 to 34-year-old audience, which is so desirable by all advertisers. To bring David Brenner to radio is expensive, with a budget that allows for an in-studio band, a live audience, listener phone-ins, and, of course, paying the star himself, who just observed his 150th appearance on The Tonight Show. 150 times you've sat in that chair. Yeah. And this chair. Sometimes that chair, once I laid on the table and once I threw up on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Brenner was Johnny's favorite substitute, yeah. that is, before Joan Rivers got the job. Radio is giving Brenner the chance he's always wanted to have his own variety show. It will be different, he says, from its counterparts on television. And Brenner says he will be different, too. I always work within the framework of The Tonight Show and always remember that I was sitting in Johnny Carson's seat and therefore should conduct myself in keeping with Johnny Carson. It's his show. It's, it's like living in someone else's house. But I'm my own persona, my own persona, minutes. which I can bring out <laughs> if it's my show. And I'm different than Johnny, and I'm different than David Letterman. Yeah. I'm, with, I'm with the label that has Bruce Springsteen, Paul McCartney, Mick Jagger, so I'm doing real good over there. It's like, yeah, right. they're Give pushing you three. like crazy. <laughs> Not threatened by fellow comedians, Brenner will put other funny people on the air. But his favorite guests are rock stars, a group Brenner feels he's more comfortable with than his colleagues on television. I think uh, the television hosts, who are, you know, many of whom are so great at what they do, rock and rollers have always been a departure from their usual guest list. And they're kind of inhibited by rock and rollers. Brenner is gambling on rock's new respectability to attract a wide audience. An audience, he says, that has a better feeling about rock stars after the Live Aid concert. This uh, raising of the money, for uh, starving children, starving people. That's what rock and roll is today. Rock and roll is not what the connotation was in the 50s and the 60s, and with trashing a place and, and dying from an overdose. That's been done enough. And there are other obvious advantages radio has over television. I watch every Tonight Show I do, and I hate it. I, well, first of all, the nose, I don't believe it. You know, it's looking bigger to me all the time, things like that. Well, you, I think on radio, you can get the audience to start employing more of their own filthy little imaginations <laughs> about what's actually transpiring behind the microphone or, on, you know, on the table <laughs> or in the audience or under the table. You know, David Lee Roy came out with a bizarre shirt and everything. If you have the sweet little old lady in Des Moines listening, she'll accept him. But if she saw him, she might have panicked. You don't, you don't have to get dressed to, <laughs> to go in front of the camera. You don't have to worry about makeup. Uh, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it's so different. This whole thing that, that uh, David Brenner is doing, he's doing this live radio show now, and it's, it's, it's like the old days with an audience and an announcer and the table, you know, with David sitting behind. And I don't know if there's an advantage or, or a disadvantage, but it, it, it's fun. 